Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to some more of The Long Dark. My name is Keith, and I am playing The Long Dark, and you're watching it for now. And let's see, what did we do yesterday? We went looking for more rabbits, I think, but we ended up taking, bringing this wolf pelt home. We also used some of our deer hides to repair our boots that we needed to repair. Um, I'm very thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that little issue. Really ought to melt some more water. I think I will start a fire up. So good, I know I say good morning every every time I start the start a video, I believe, but um. It's not morning for you, most likely. It's certainly not as early for you as it is for me, most likely. Hmm. It's 5.30. So, what time I wake up to play games. What time I wake up to chase those dreams, man. Chase those dreams. The dreams of having even the smallest audience of people for the videos, man. Or, or lady, I shouldn't say man so much. Um... Yeah, that's the dream. To, um... Build just a time. Maybe just a, maybe a little community around these videos. And chat back and forth with people on the internet about games. Maybe start branching out into some other things like reviews or other stuff. But yeah, that's the dream. Keep playing the, the long dark till that happens. No, I'm just kidding. But I do play a lot of the long dark, don't I? I just love it. I just love the game. And I haven't seen everything there is to see in it yet. So, holy crap, how did I miss this coffee? Heck yeah. How did I miss that coffee? That's wild that I missed the coffee. That's stupid, too. Let's grab some of our meats. Taking a little bit to load today. There we go. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. All right, so we got some rabbit and our bear meat. We're out of bear meat, so we're gonna have to kill another bear eventually. Not because really necessarily for his meat, but more for uh, to get another pelt. I tell you what, the whole... I don't know why I came back in here to... You know what? I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm gonna get some coffee before I go outside and go rabbit hunting today. Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go... Uh, hunt, some, hunt for some wabbits. Reduce fatigue, warming up. We all be full up. Nice. Forty ten. Do some good little morsels. What if we just eat this? Then we'll be able to sprint if we need to. All right, boys and girls, let's go out and let's go find us some wabbits. Got my coffee. Ready to go. Now, last time I, f I found my wabbits, they were this way. Take out my bow and arrow. I got ten arrows. All of varying disrepair. <laughs> So yesterday, well, yeah, in yesterday's video, I told you about um, the D and D campaign that we're going to get started. Man, I'm excited. Yesterday, I worked on the the background story of the the world I've created. Um, I think it's fairly interesting. I think it's maybe I won't call it fresh because I don't know what everybody's been doing and watching. Um, but it's kind of a fresh one to me. Kind of, I think kind of a fresh take on a, the way a world could 
could go wrong. Um, so I'm excited about that. We've got a whole map. We've got cities and towns. Everything's named. I was discussing with um, buddy Zenus about what kind of character he's going to play. and I think he's going to like homebrew a class. So he might mix and match a couple classes. And he was trying to clear that with me. And I was trying to make sure that he wasn't just trying to go to make himself super overpowered and it didn't seem like that's what he was trying to do so I'm gonna let it go so you guys will get to see Zenus play a home brood I think he called it a berser berserker class and he sent me all the stat bumps and stuff and um, I'm a big fan of all, all that stuff. One of my favorite parts about D&D and all that is the, uh, like the character, the character development. Like, actually, truly role-playing and making decisions based on, like, you're not playing a character in a video game that's locked on a track to do something, but you're actually making decisions for this person based on how they would make decisions. Like, maybe part of your quest is you're supposed to kill a dog, but one of your, but your character is just completely, like, completely against killing dogs, he wouldn't do that, so he doesn't. You won't make, like, you won't let him do it. And that just adds to more, more of the story. There's some rabbits. All this talking has brought me to the rabbit, rabbit home. I mean, the rabbits are making an exodus, but also I kind of want to touch that, check that waterfall. Usually something interesting happens at waterfalls. Wow, way overshot him. Gotta put that down to rest for a second. Bruh. Bruh, no. This is crazy. Alright, he's head on me now. He's dead. He's heading right at me. Gotcha, brother. Gotcha. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. That's one more rabbit that we got. While we're here, we might as well grab another one, just in case you need a repair. Right? No point in letting these rabbits go to waste. Oh. Whoops. Bruh, are you... <laughs> this is crazy! My arrows are going to be destroyed. So is my bow. Gotcha. Gotcha, little rabbit boy. <laughs> this bow really is good for hunting rabbits. It won't suck at using it. Headshot, as they say. Could end up being useful. Sorry about it, little fella. That's just how it's gonna have to be. Now I wanna check and see about my boat. Forty-five percent. That's not good. So what I need to find is some maple saplings to make another one. I'm just unequip it for now. Mm. And my coffee. Tasty this morning. Hmm. I bet I could get up to the top of the waterfall. How much time we got left in the day? How much weight are we talking for? I'm not super happy with the weight. So lower falls.
wonder if I'll, maybe I'll do a sketch. Surveying local area. Nice. I might walk up this hill and see what's up here. Actually, seems like that beat might be biting off a bit more than I want to chew today. So let's not do that. Let's let's try to make it home, skin our rabbits, cook our rabbits, and uh, call it a day. And then we'll come back out and do some exploring tomorrow, I believe. But God, I am just giddy. I am just absolutely giddy to get this campaign started. It's going to be a little while. Got to get some things prepared. Got to finish writing the world. Got to finish getting everybody's characters set up. Got a lot to do before we can start recording, but I really hope it's going to be worth it. I think when it comes to D&D, to &D, that's what makes it so appealing to people, not only to watch, but to make, for making content. It's because, um, like, with the long, with the long dark, let's just take that for an example. With the long dark, I'm walking through an area that I bet someone else has walked through on the internet, playing games for people to watch. Nothing I'm doing in this game is fresh, is, is new, is something that you haven't necessarily seen before. Um, maybe you haven't, but it's not something the world hasn't seen before. It's not something um, that I'm getting to first. And it's not something that anyone would say, oh, well, the, uh, the, the, it's not the first time. It's not the first time people have seen it. It's not, I'm not the first one here. There are other people. Let's go ahead. The charcoal, I think, is a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start trying to do that more. Um, so, uh, so yeah, game like this. Let's say God of War just came out. I really wanted to play it. I would love this to to make videos of it, but I don't have any way to to stream to make videos from my PlayStation to my computer. But if I were to do that, there's no way that I would be the first video really anyone clicked. Like, I'm, I'm not the first time. I'm, 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 I'm going through material that other people have done. As well as I'm going through material that other people could do by themselves without having to watch me play. But that's where um, Dungeons and Dragons is different. Like, yes, it's the, the system. Pe people have seen the system and they know the system. People have seen the rules. They know the rules. They know how the game works. But there's no way possible that anyone has played my campaign before because I made it. It's a thing of my own design. Surely there, there are elements within it that other people have seen or done or used before. But as a whole, no one has played my story, heard my story, or even read my story. And so I think that's what makes it appealing for, for watching because it's something fresh, it's something new, it's something that you can only get here. You can't get it anywhere else. It's, the, the, it's a story in a group of people that you can only get here. Um, but it also, I think, is appealing to creators like myself because it's something that sets you apart. It's like that you, the only way to see Keith's campaign is to watch my videos. Um, so I think that's what makes, makes it uh, appealing for both. And I think it's it's just growing. It's getting bigger. I think people are. I think there's less of a stigma attached to D and D as there used to be. Like it used. To, if you said D and D and D, you would think of like neck beardy type guys in their in their basement drinking Mountain Dew and covered in in Dorito dust. 
but now it's kind of a more of a mainstream thing. I think it might we might owe that to uh, Stranger Things and how they were playing it and people got interested in it again. Maybe not. That's just my theory. But all that to say, um, I am just so hyped for that. Ooh, 27 charcoal. That'll that'll be plenty. Wait, let's go back outside and sketch real quick. All right. Cool. So we do know we do know a few things now. Now I say, let's uh, skin these rabbits. The knife will do it. Let's do it fast. Let's do it fast with the knife. Not a whole lot of meat, but we're here. We're really here for the pelts. That's why we're here. Not a ton of meat on that one. But I spent this whole this whole video talking about a different game. If you. have if you prefer, if you have other things you'd like me to talk about, definitely leave a comment. Definitely, if you want my thoughts on anything, leave a comment and, uh, I could use a drink. We'll discuss it in the next video. I definitely enjoy, what did I just do? I definitely enjoy giving my thoughts on things, on just stuff, you know, just, I'm a, I'm a very opinionated person, not in so much that I feel that my, my opinion is right and yours is wrong, but more of I just, I form opinions about things pretty readily, and I like talking about them, I make, I feel like I make, oh nice, I, think I feel like I make a lot of observations, um, so, if you want to hear my opinion on some things, let me know. Come on. Come on. Whoa, my first Damn. failed fire in a long time. Um, you want to hear my... We've already done gun control. So I refer you back to another video. I don't remember which one it was, but I think I was... I was leaving the coastal highway... The last time I left Coastal Highway, one of those episodes, I think. Um, talking about gun control. If you want to hit, want me to hit any other hot button topics, let me know. I don't necessarily need to volunteer any of those. No, oh, that didn't work. What? In the, is it because I'm thirsty? I can't imagine why that would be the case, but maybe it is. Let's try this one more time. Is it because I took the charcoal? Seems a little bit silly, doesn't it? Come on. I didn't know I I didn't think I'd ever have this much trouble with a fire. But hello Mia. Hello sweet piggy. That's my dog. She's not actually a pig, but she's an English bulldog, so I call her a pig sometimes because she's kind of shaped like one. All right. That did it. Let's drop. I think I will cook this food um, in between videos, folks. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation about Dungeons and Dragons and all kind of stuff. So let me know uh, what other stuff you want me to talk about, and I'll do it. 
um, as we explore this world and, and survive. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening or whatever. Um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you very much. Bye-bye.